Hello and welcome to this AIM tutorial that is designed to look at the channels report feature uh, for driver improvement. Many of the videos that you may have seen previously have looked at vehicle health or engine health using the channels report feature, but today we're going to have a look at how do we use this for driver improvement. And this analysis is going to be applicable to everyone with every AIM device, from an original AIM solo to some of the more advanced latest features, because it all focuses on GPS-based data. So right here, I've got three sessions that are open. And if I go to the measures graph, for example, you can see that this is just a basic analysis looking at three sessions through an entire day. What we want to be able to have a look at is looking at this in more detail. Now, many of you may have seen the GPS advanced video that we created looking with math channels, how to get more out of uh, your GPS data. And that is available here in one of the channel um, profiles that I have here or user profiles. And if I open up, for example, GPS advanced, you can see some of these channels that we talked through previously. Here I have uh, aspects such as throttle on, which is a math channel that determines um, you know, if the car is being propelled. Uh, same thing with a brake on, which is the channel that identifies um, if the car is being slowed down. Um, useful if you don't have some of these um, vehicle inputs. But what we can also do is we can take some of these variables and we can turn them into even more analysis for the um, channels report. So let's have a look at that. I'm going to open up a basic um, channel again, go back to what we were looking at just previously. Um, and one of the things you may notice here is that the channels report is not open. So I'm going to scroll up to the top here and I'm going to click on the channels report. As usual, the default is just going to provide GPS speed. But what I want to do is I want to start customizing this for driver analysis. So I'm going to click here into add remove and I want to be able to look at um, some, some variables in here. So I don't mind having minimum and maximum here. These would be particularly useful to see what my slowest speed was and my fastest speed was, but I want to see average because this will help identify you know, those laps which were the fastest because obviously the fastest lap has the highest average speed. Um, I'm also going to add in some of the variables uh, of math channels which I'll show how we created, but they are continuation in terms of generating new channels from the brake on and the throttle on um, analysis that we've done in previous videos. And so if I scroll down, you can see there they are. There's the throttle on and there's the brake on. But there's new channels here that we've created, which we can also look at. And so I want to be able to see brake lap T. So that's lap time. So how much was I on the brake in time during the lap? And so I'm just going to click on max because that's the best one to have for that. Same thing I want to be able to see in terms of how long was I on the throttle. Um, I want that one. I want to be able to see if I was coasting. So how long was I coasting for? So I can add that one. Coasting is a great variable, which you can only get once you've set up braking, um, throttle and cornering, because it's basically a channel that says, if I'm not braking, I'm not accelerating, I'm not in a corner, what am I doing? And arguably at that point, it's just coasting. Um, and I want to see all of the same ones in terms of distance as well. So I'm going to click on um, uh, coasting lap D, which is distance, braking lap D, which is distance, and throttle, which is lap distance as well. I have others in here as well. Uh, I can see percentages. I can see distance. But for the purposes of today's um, conversation, we're just going to add these key variables um, to, to the channel report. So I'm going to add that up. Now all of these new channels have appeared in the channels report. And I can look at um, variables here in terms of D equals distance, and that's measured in feet. So how far in feet was I coasting? How far was I coasting, uh, uh, braking? And how far on the lap was I on throttle? Same thing for brake. Uh, but this is instance in time, which is how far in time in seconds was I on the brake, was I on the throttle, and was I coasting for? Also, I've now got GPS uh, average speed that's there as well. All of these channels are available to anyone with any of the devices, and I'll link the math channels in the description box below so you can actually take those uh, and work with them. The best thing you can do though is you can click on test compare and this allows you to look at lap performance through each of the sessions. Now the channels report will bold the reference lap which is the fastest lap and you can see some of the key variables immediately pop out and so the average speed for example of this lap was 89 miles an hour but by the time we shaved off nearly you know half a second it's 89.7 so that's a good indication. Uh, minimum speed hasn't changed dramatically through those areas, half a mile an hour faster here. Um, the top speed, interestingly here, 
um, has is lower than it, it was in any of the two previous sessions. And interesting, this is session one, session two, session three uh, in any given day. And that might be indicative of certain variables, which is maybe it was a very cool morning where we started uh, and it was a warm afternoon. And so the engine's probably not producing as much power. Maybe that's indicative of maximum speed. In this case, it was cold all day, so it didn't make a huge amount of difference. Um, this may have been another variable, but it just allows you to be able to look at some of these key components just from speed alone. But one of the things that I do like to be able to see are aspects of uh, improvement. Now, one of the things that you know I generally tend to do as a driver is that I overbrake to start off with, and I slowly start developing the ability to roll more speed uh, throughout the day. And there's a really good way of being able to see that in this particular model, because you can see this is the amount of time in seconds that I was on the break. And it just so happens that the fastest lap of the day through these three sessions saw the, the smallest amount of um, uh, break time. So 10.2 seconds, 10.4 seconds, and 13.3 down here. Um, and so, you know, quite an improvement in terms of the amount of time on the break. But different things have happened, you know, as um, started to roll more speed, um, the coasting has actually increased as well. And so being able to look at, you know, how do I minimize that? Because that's actually the highest during the day at 1.5 seconds or 246 feet versus 0.9 in the middle session and one second uh, in the opening session. And so um, lots potentially to improve here uh, as we look through this particular variable. So a lot to be able to analyze in relation to the overall assessment of the lap just using these advanced channels that are here. You can then take this information and start looking at it in more detail. I often like to be able to take some of this, look at some of the variables lap by lap and turn it into a split report where I can see what's happening in each of the segments and pick the best from each of those segments and glue it together. But this just gives you an idea very quickly that even from a driver enhancement and driver improvement point of view, just being able to see how much time you're on the brake or on the throttle or coasting just allows you to be able to analyze that data a little bit more. If you like this particular analysis, please let me know in the comments box and give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe because we'll have new uh, videos and tutorials that come all the time. Uh, if there's anything you'd like to see, uh, please also let me know uh, in the comments below. I will post all of the math channels that I use here um, so that you can probably copy them uh, and use them in your overall analysis as well. And with that, I'll say thanks so much for watching and um, have a good time analyzing your data.